This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them. We should also talk a little bit about what the authorities have done to encourage these riots. One of the most appropriate things you can do to deter a riot from infecting your house or your area is to just sit on your front porch with a shotgun across your lap. However, I gotta tell you, even in New Hampshire, I'm nervous about doing that. Not because I think I'd get a bottle thrown at me, although I guess I might. Uh, what really worries me is that I would get birded. Uh, I refer to what happened to Ward Bird. Here you see some video of protests related to, to what happened to Ward Bird. Ward Bird was a New Hampshire resident who uh, was confronted by a very unstable, apparently, a very unstable lady, a criminal it turns out, at his front door while he was recovering from serious surgery and almost unable to, to move quickly. He held, did not point, for, as far as I'm concerned, he held, as far as I know, he didn't point, but held a firearm. He did this during the encounter and was sentenced to like three years in state prison for it. These folks, what we call the bird watchers, uh, rallied behind a pardon hearing during which he was, uh, you know, his sentence was commuted, but he, he was still a felon. And the state not willing to, or not able to pay for the cost of implementing Real ID here in New Hampshire. Thanks to this asshole, the governor, John Lynch. Anyway, anyway, by de determine by deterring this very limited deterrence type activity, the state government has actively, if ignorantly, encouraged or enabled riots. And I should probably clarify: you might not want to sit in front of your door with <laughs> with, a, with a shotgun. It might be more appropriate to take up a very defensive position, visible but defensive position near your door. I, mean, I, think, I think that's this is what I would do. Somewhere where you are capable of quickly dodging back inside if need be. But where your uh, weapon can be seen. It's what I would do left to my own devices probably, but uh, I'm not sure I would actually do it because of what happened to Ward Bird. I'm not left to my own devices in a riot. I am potentially deterred by law and government misuse of law. Ign government ignoring law in some cases. You never know what will happen to you. Anyway, back to Keene State College itself. Yes, I realize many of the rioters, maybe most of them, were not Keene State College students. But when was the last time you had a riot like this in Bedford or Merrimack? These towns that don't have colleges tend to do better when it comes to rioting. They have less of it. Even Bed, uh, even uh, Manchester and Nashua, which are the high crime zones in New Hampshire, I guess. I've never heard of a riot happening in either of those places. <laughs> and they both have, you know, what passes for ghettos in New Hampshire. You know, even if Keene State College were not a crappy institution, it should not be forcing you to pay for its presence. Being able to force funding out of people creates unaccountability. Another question, how hostile would Keene State College students and their visitors be toward police if police were not constantly arresting them for victimless crimes? Internal possession of alcohol, marijuana possession, a uh, college-aged uh, free Keener was arrested for having a shotgun in his hand during a disturbance in Keene. Also, let's consider the craven nature of the Keene establishment. The uh, sort of despicable mix of bullying and cowering behavior. They are, I understand, now talking about surrendering to the rioters by 
canceling future pumpkin fests. They're all pee pee and vinegar when it comes to good Samaritans saving people from parking tickets. Have a are seat. You, are, now. You, are you making an offer? Have a seat. I'll be doing that under duress. Take him into custody. Yes, sir. Have a reason. All right. They're all, I'll show you when it takes someone an extra six seconds to sit down. But when confronted with actual bad guys in any large number, well, at that point, the most dangerous place for you to be is apparently between the Keene establishment and the nearest white flag. Just hiding in their bear cat apparently isn't good enough. They have to consider actual active surrender. Nope, can't do that. Federal agents on the streets of Keene, New Hampshire. They're investigating reports of an unlicensed radio station said to be broadcasting LRN.FM. So why all the fuss? What is LRN.FM? Well, it's probably not something these agents want you to listen to. It's a 24-hour news talk broadcast, all pro-liberty. A true authoritarian free zone. Tune in at LRN.FM to listen or broadcast their signal. LRN.FM, Feds don't want you to hear them.